Hi, Dana Seeger here at home, but representing the School of Visual Philosophy for the kitchen table sessions. The first one we're going to do is roll paper flowers. So I've laid out some materials for us. We have paper for making our flowers, scissors for cutting out the shape, pencil for rolling the paper around, a skewer for final mounting in your bouquet and or some pipe cleaners or floral wire, anything that you want to use to attach your flower to your bouquet. You can even use branches if you're outside or near a park. You can look and collect some really cool um, branches that don't have leaves and glue your paper flowers to that and make a indoor no mess Okay. We also have glue. I prefer hot glue. I don't have hot glue today, so I'm going to be trying to use just regular um, Elmer's glue. Um, the nice thing about hot glue is that it dries really quickly or cools really quickly. And so that's my preferred um, adhesive. But we're going to try this today because, like I said, I'm at my kitchen table, so I have to make do with what I've got. So we're going to start by choosing a color for our paper and you're just going to cut out a circle and then you're going to cut out from the circle you're going to cut out a spiral and I'll show you how to do that. So I have my paper, I'm going to cut out a circle, it doesn't have to be perfect because nature isn't perfect. paper I'm using today I got on Amazon. It's a really cool double-sided two-color paper, which is nice because you can see when you roll your flowers, you see both the inside and the outside color. So I like this one a lot. Once you have your circle-ish shape, you start just on one side, doesn't really matter, and start spiraling. until I get to the middle and I'm leaving kind of like a little round portion. And a tip for the paper flowers, you don't want to make it too long of a spiral or you'll end up with a really, really, really tight and very wound up flower. So if you want it kind of to represent like a real flower, you want to keep the spiral a little bit wider not so narrow and you also want to keep in mind that the part that you start with is going to be the inside portion of the flower so this ends up being in the middle and the bottom the little round part is the bottom of the flower so the inner spiral is actually the outer petals so once you have your spiral cut out, we're going to start wrapping it around our pencil. And you don't have to use the pencil, but I like to get a good start on it because it's a really nice shape and size to start wrapping. And what you're going to do is start with the pointy end, not the middle, the end part, and start spiraling it around. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but what you want to do is make sure that you keep the part, the bottom part, the inside part. That's going to be the bottom of the flower. So the inside part here is what you want to keep even. And then the top will kind of roll out. And that's okay because that's what the flowers come from. Like the opening of the petals. And then as you get a nice Start to get a nice tight wrap. You can take the pencil out and just continue to roll around, keeping this bottom part roughly even. And then once you get it all spiraled around to the little 
circle part. You can kind of let it open up. And then we're gonna put some glue on the bottom right here and just push our flower down like this and that will keep it in place. So we're ready to put it on our skewer or our branch or make our little bouquet. So here's going to be the close-up view of how to roll. Got your spiral, got your pencil. I'm just going to start rolling, I'm going to tuck that guy in there. this bottom part even. The top will kind of flare out. You can try different spirally shapes. I did just a plain spiral. That's the easiest and it ends up kind of looking like a little rose bud. If you wanted to try something different, you can cut out a scallop shape and that's kind of fun. It'll make it look more like a a daisy or a carnation. to the bottom of the flower or you can stick it on your branch. 